This video shows the basic motivation and significance of our recent work published in CKDD 2017. Recommender system is an effective means of helping people filter unimportant information. For example, Google News recommender systems must choose individual personalized articles from millions of articles based on their click and search history. Amazon needs to recommend product tailored for user test from more than 480 million products. However, given a large number of users and items, it is challenging to generate immediate recommendation, but the real-time recommendation results better satisfy the requirement from users. Is it possible to pre-compute top K preferred items for users? This is questionable, since user interest is evolving and new items are always emerging. Of course, we can resort to distributed or parallel computing techniques, but we need a lot of machines for computation, making this solution expensive. To this end, we study an economic and effective way of generating immediate recommendation. It is well known that matrix factorization often generates the best SOM model performance, so we choose it for this study. Based on the learned latent factors of both users and items, we apply the sign function to map them into 1 or minus 1. When using binary code representing users and items, we can say memory consumption lot. For example, 10 millions of product would occupy around 20 jitter space when using continuous latent factor, and around 640 meta space when using a binary latent factor. In addition, we can fast compute user preference for items by XOR based on Hamming distance. Based on their comparison, we can see that it can achieve up to from tens to hundreds of times speed up. However, learning latent factors of users and items under the binary constraints is challenging, requiring non-convex and non-smooth optimization techniques. To make this algorithm more practical, we need to make extension from the following perspective. First, the necessity of dealing with users and items code start problems. Second, the, this algorithm should subsume collaborative filtering from implicit feedback, since implicit feedback is more prevalent and much easier to collect. Finally, this algorithm should handle the classification task in addition to regression. To this end, we develop discrete content work matrix factorization algorithm. This is the end of this video. Thanks for your watching. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact us via the email.